In this feature video, we're going to talk a little bit more about the colour picker and some of the changes that have come in our version 195 stable. We've always had a colour picker in Magic Q, and a little while ago we expanded that to become a multi-emitter colour picker, controlling more than just RGB. All elements or colour elements of fixtures, red, green, blue, amber, lime, whatever it might have. We further enhanced our colour picker a while ago by using emitter data, and you can now set colour emitter data in the head files of our fixtures, and we are adding that constantly to our library to improve the colour uh, matching and ability of our personality library. So in our latest 195 stable, a couple of the changes, and you'll see more videos coming on this shortly. In our colour picker, I'm going to select some Chauvet Evasion Rev E3s, and I'm going to go to my colour picker window. And here, of course, we have our regular colour picker view. We have our gels view, and we have a whole library of different gels that you can change here on your A encoder. I'm going to go to the Lee library and I'm going to select one of the gels. And that's, of course, going to apply that Lee filter. One of the new things we've got is a source type, which you'll find on the D encoder here. And this is allowing you to change the source behind the gel. So if we're thinking of a traditional incandescent fixture, I'm thinking of my uh, source 4 style fixture, an ellipsoidal style fixture, I'm thinking putting a gel on that and the color I'd get out of the end of that. So I've got my ellipsoidal reflector source type. I could change that, daylight 65, or I've got a par 64 or a 2K Fresnel, or a 1K Fresnel. And I can cycle through and say, okay, when I select this gel, I'm using this source type behind it. That's the color I expect to see coming out then, rather than just the gel color. I'm mixing the gel as if it had the source behind it. So here I've got par 64. When I pick on, say, a Lee 118, I expect that that's the color I'd get, equivalent to me having a par can with that gel on the front of it. Also, in our latest uh, release in 1955, you'll find in the faders view, we have a mix fader. The mix fader, if I change the view here to open up my output window, when you have a fixture with more than RGB, so in this case here, a fixture that's got uh, more than an RGB emitter, you can see here around my side chart here, I've got my emitters, my blue, green, uh, red, and you can see it's got an amber emitter, and it also has uh, a lime emitter or a different color emitter here. So I'm using these five emitters to mix my colors. If I select a color here and bring the brightness down, we have a mix fader, which allows me to change the recipe of how that color is mixed. You'll notice in the output window as I bring that fader up and down, you can see it's changing the recipe of how the color is mixed. And so we're gonna have some videos on this shortly where we see this in a practical application. And this is now in our new stable 1955 onwards.